Hello, I'm Heather Stewart, Chief Executive of Fife Cultural Trust, and it's my pleasure to be introducing the 2017-18 Annual Report of On Fife. Last year, we had the privilege of opening the new Dunfermline Carnegie Library and Galleries. This brings a fantastic new Richard Murphy designed extension onto the first ever Carnegie Library in the world, which opened in 1883. The new spaces incorporate a museum, purpose-built gallery spaces, a cafe, a new children's library, and also local studies and archive spaces, and much, much more. This award-winning building, which is officially the best building in Scotland, really demonstrates the challenges and the opportunities of this kind of integrated cultural provision, which we're increasingly looking at delivering right across a whole range of our facilities and spaces that we're responsible for. We're on target to bring in 280,000 visitors a year to the new building, and we anticipate that the new building will contribute over £500,000 to the local economy. This new cultural hub symbolises the high quality customer service that we deliver across all of our facilities, and is also a really good example of the challenges and opportunities that come with operating these modern integrated cultural facilities. I know that if Andrew Carnegie went to any of the libraries that we now operate right across Fife's communities, what he would find is a modern, innovative and dynamic library service delivered by our talented and knowledgeable staff. We have people coming in to use our public access PCs, which we have over 200 of, right across our library network. We are developing the skills for new generations through our code clubs. We are supporting early years development through our book bug sessions and now also through our trailblazing British Sign Language storytelling sessions and a whole range of different activities now that people can access in our libraries which are really important in terms of providing opportunities for social contact and community cohesion. It just saves places where people can come and spend some time. Modernisation and innovation was also a theme for our museums and archives service this year where with the support of Fife Council we were able to open a new purpose-built collections and archives centre up at Bankhead in Glenrothes. This state-of-the-art facility allows us to conserve much better the over 100,000 cultural artefacts and objects that we conserve and look after on behalf of the people of Fife. It also offers much better access to the public to see the range of collections that we have on offer. Bankhead has also had its own starring role on BBC TV, believe it or not, with members of our team who were able to talk about the range of collections that we have on offer here in Fife, and that includes, amazingly, the inkwell that Adam Smith was reputed to use to write The Wealth of Nations here in Kirkcaldy. The legacy of Adam Smith has provided a really strong platform for our continued partnership working locally with a range of organisations here in Kirkcaldy to deliver on our shared ambitions of regenerating the town centre, increasing footfall into the area and really developing a quality culture and heritage offer to support our tourism. An example of this is the Fife Festival of Ideas which is organised by the Adam Smith Global Foundation based here in Kirkcaldy and which brought David Tennant and Sandy Toxvig to the stage of the Adam Smith Theatre last year to sell out audiences. This is just one example of a range of partnership working that we do right across Fife with a whole range of organisation focused on ensuring that we have the best possible culture and heritage offer here in Fife. Last year, our Fife Comedy Festival attracted stars of radio and TV, including Russell Kane and Milton Jones. We also celebrated the 80th birthday of our grand old lady, Carnegie Hall, in Dunfermline, which all of the stars, or lots of the stars who performed on the stage, turned out to celebrate, including Curtis Steigers. As an organisation, in the last three years or so, we've experienced really quite a lot of change. We've delivered nearly £2 million worth of savings, which Fife Council asked us to find. Really importantly, alongside that, we've delivered a whole range of service modernisation and transformation and equally important have continued to grow and develop the organisation, generating now nearly 40% of our own income to ensure a long-term sustainable future for the organisation and the services that we deliver. How we continue to deliver increased levels of income and new sources of revenue is incredibly important because it's through these things such as our bar, our catering services, which we now deliver in-house, our retail through our shops, our ticket sales through our box offices. It's all of these things that allow us to reinvest in our other services, 
because the majority of the services that we deliver are statutory public services which we deliver on behalf of Fife Council and which require to be delivered free of charge to Fife's communities. So our ability to raise income and revenue to reinvest in those services is absolutely essential to their long-term sustainability and to the long-term sustainability of us as an organisation and the services generally that we deliver. Over the last five years, we've built a really strong foundation for the future. And we've done that with the support of our board and with the support of every single one of our members of staff. And to all of them, thank you for your support. We look forward to building on our achievements and successes and to continuing to deliver on our mission of enriching lives in Fife.